dead at the scene and police are still looking for the person who pulled the trigger. Well, we are heading into the holiday season here in Western New York, but not all celebrations get the kind of attention like Thanksgiving and Christmas. So tonight, our Derek Hyde takes us inside the home of a Clarence family to find out what Diwali is all about. Happy Diwali! It's the third day of Diwali, which means families across the world and right here in Western New York are getting together to celebrate the holiday. Which is good over evil. It's about uh, knowledge over uh, ignorance and just bringing positivity into our lives, minds and hearts. Diwali is traditionally a Hindu holiday that symbolizes the spiritual victory of light over darkness. To show that, families leave small dial lanterns all over their homes turn on the lights in their home and ask God to come in and bless their families with uh, good health, wealth and prosperity. The Reina family and Clarence opened their doors to me Sunday night to celebrate this special day with them. And they shared with me what they do to celebrate with all their loved ones. Every single light in our home, is, we light up everything out from outside inside and, and some of the guests like Sibu Nair, who is the deputy director of Asian Affairs with Governor Kathy Hochul, sure the best part is always one thing. Food, of course. It's all about coming together, you know, eat together and share the culture and heritage of uh, uh, India and Hindus. And of course, some of the other guests shared their favorite treats with me. Poop it and take a bite. Uh, okay. There you go. Is it spicy? A little bit, but it's really good. In honor of Diwali, the governor had state landmarks like Niagara Falls lit up in assortment of colors like blue. And the Reina family encourages everybody, whether you're Hindu or not, to leave an extra light on today to celebrate.